friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today are some Irish themed movies because it's St. Patrick's Day and my very Irish grandmother would be rolling over in her grave if I did not somehow acknowledge St. Patrick's Day. So whether you watch these today, whether you're Irish or not, doesn't matter. These are just great films that you need to check out. And I'm going to get right into it with my first one, which stars Killian Murphy, who's riding high on his Oscar win for Best Actor in Oppenheimer. And this is a 2006 movie called The Wind That Shakes the Barley. And this is just a fantastic movie. If you've not seen it, put it high on your list to watch. And he plays a, a young Irishman, and he also has a brother. And he is a medical student and he is supposed to go off to London to work in a London hospital to continue his training. And when he sees the atrocities that are going on in his country with the British invasion, he decides to stay and fight alongside his brother as a freedom fighter. And this is their story. And it's, it's just a really amazing story. And it's a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen this one, like I said, put it high on your list. Um, and this is one that need, badly needs an upgrade and is so deserving of a Blu-ray or a 4K upgrade. And the nice thing is it's an IFC title, which is now part of the Vinegar Syndrome partner label. So maybe, fingers crossed, maybe we'll get something over on Vinegar Syndrome because this is just such a fantastic movie. But whether you pick up the DVD or you stream it, just put it on your list and give it a watch because you will not be disappointed. When this shakes the barley, it's a good one. And this next one, I may have spoken about it before, but it's been a while, so I figured I would pull it out. Again, Irish-themed. Uh, it, it was up for four Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Original Score, and Best Adapted Screenplay. And it stars one of my favorite actors of all time, actresses of all time, uh, Judi Dench. And it also stars Steve Coogan in Philomena. And in this one, we have a, a, a woman who, obviously, her name is Philomena. And when she was a young gal, she was pregnant out of wedlock. And in those times, she was a young Irish gal. And in those times, what they would do is they would take these gals and they would send them to these convents. And the convents would then let them have the babies. The gals would work at the convents. And they would take the babies and they would put them up for adoption. And the women never had the option of keeping the babies if they were uh, pregnant out of wedlock. And she decides as an adult that she wants to find out what happened to her child when he was taken from her at the convent and when he was put up for adoption. So she contacts this gentleman who is, a, he's a reporter, he's kind of out of work and he's looking for things to do. So he agrees to help her and we follow them on their journey to figure out what happened to this young baby who was taken from her. And this just hits all, it gets you in all the feels. It's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. It's a fantastic movie. And uh, like I said, based on true events. And if you haven't seen Philomena, please, please check this one out because it's, it's well worth the watch. And this next one, I know I've talked about this one before because it was one of my favorites of the year. And I'm, I, I, I can't even remember the year and everything is so tiny on this that I can't read it. But anyway, I think it was 2022 maybe. Anyway, it stars Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson in The Banshees of Inishirin, and I just love this movie. I could watch it anytime, anywhere. These are two lifelong friends, and Brendan Gleeson plays a character who he just decides one day that he does not want to be friends with Colin Farrell anymore. He has no real reason. He won't give a reason. He just says, don't talk to me. Don't come around me. Don't come near me. And, um... Uh, Colin Farrell's character is just devastated. He can't believe that his friend has just turned his back on him for no reason, no reason given, refuses to be anywhere around him. And what we follow is we follow these guys on their journey. Uh, uh, Colin Farrell trying to pursue Brendan Gleeson to find out, you know, what's wrong? What happened? What did I do wrong? And Brendan Gleeson just wanting to be left alone. And that's the journey. That's what we follow these two friends trying to reconcile what happened and where do we go from here and it's just a really interesting take on friendship and what happens when you're kind of done with a friendship and how do both sides deal with it but this is a really great movie if you have not seen it definitely check it out and if you've seen it put it on your list and watch it again because it's a good one now this is one i don't think i've ever talked about this one on the channel but i really do like this one and um, you will probably, if you have not seen this one, you'll definitely um, recognize Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead, Daryl from The Walking Dead, and it's The Boondock Saints. And this one takes place in Boston, 
and we have two guys who decide to become vigilantes and what they decide to do is start taking out mobsters in the Boston area and they just start picking them off one by one and uh, the FBI kind of gets wind of it and they start to track them to figure out who is doing all this who, you know who are these vigilantes that are taking out these you know high-ranking mobsters and it's just a really great film I love the boondock saints I have to bring this upstairs because I haven't seen it in a while and pulling it off the shelf to talk about it here made me want to watch it again and little fun fact little trivia fact is that the boondock saints here this was my very first steelbook ever this is what started the madness of steelbooks and this is a dvd steelbook and i remember just saying oh that's really cool packaging and i had never seen anything like it before and this is what started the steelbook madness so when you see my steelbook collection this is where it all started the uh, the boondock saints and it's a fantastic fantastic movie and this next one stars Saoirse Ronan, and she was so young in this one. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not sure of the year, and they make everything so tiny. It looks like 2015. I think I can actually read this one. This is a great film, and it's called Brooklyn. And if you haven't seen this one, again, put it on your list because she's fantastic. And it takes place in the 1950s, and she is an Irish immigrant who comes to the United States, in, in New York in particular. And she's come here for a specified amount of time, and then her, her plan is to return to Ireland because she has a young man waiting there for her who she is involved with. And so she comes to New York, and we follow her on, on her journey through New, in New York and getting into the country, getting acclimated to being in the United States. And lo and behold, of course, she's going to meet someone while she's here in the United States, and then she has to make a decision should she stay in the United States with this new man that she is interested in, or should she return to Ireland and go back to the man who she has promised herself to? And it is just a wonderful, beautiful story. Saoirse Ronan is fantastic. And I think this is the one that really put her on the map because she was out, she was unbelievably great in this movie. So definitely, if you haven't seen Brooklyn, Brooklyn, definitely check it out. It's well worth a watch. And this next one, this is just a fun, fun coming of age movie. And everyone I know who has watched this movie just loves it. And it's called Sing Street. And it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. It's a coming of age movie. It's about a young guy who wants to uh, gain the attention of a gal who he has his sights set on. So what does he do? He starts a band because that's how you get gal's attention. And we follow him on his journey to try and get this young woman's attention and form this band and he gets his band together and it's just a whole lot of fun and this is just one of those coming of age feel good movies that everybody should watch at least once so sing street it's a good one put it on your list and for the horror people out there i mean i would be remiss if i didn't have some kind of horror film and the only saint patrick's day themed film that i have in the horror collection is a uh, leprechaun it's the leprechaun collection and uh I have actually only seen the first one, so I might watch one of these that I haven't seen today, but we'll see. If you uh, if you want to just have some good horror fun, grab the Leprechaun series and watch at least one of them, because they're uh, the, the one that I saw was fun. The first one, it was fun. I mean, look at him. He's creepy. Whew. He's a scary little guy. But anyway, Leprechauns freak me out anyway, so why not make him into a horror film? And this next one, I, ha I know I've talked about this one because I love this. It's a Kenneth Branagh film. And it is called Belfast. And I believe, uh, da, 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 yeah, Judy Dench is also in this one. And this is kind of autobiographical based on the film writer's childhood in Belfast, where the Protestants and the Catholics were kind of at odds. Well, they were at odds with each other. And it's about his growing up in a multi-generational household where he lived with his grandparents, his parents, the whole deal. And their decision, trying to come to a decision if staying in Belfast is the best thing for their family because the father cannot find work so he has to travel to find work and it's just a really difficult situation that they're in but it would mean breaking up their family leaving their home leaving the only home they've ever known and uh it's just a really amazing movie a beautiful movie about family and also the trials and trials that people went through during these times when there were these big conflicts between the Catholics and the Protestants. And it's also a very interesting um, artistic choice that he decided to do the film in black and white, and I absolutely love that. I love when we see 
more modern films done in black and white and this is just such a great movie and I know a lot of people have uh, talked to me and they said they have it on their list but they haven't seen it yet watch it you're not gonna regret it it's a fantastic movie and this next one I mean I, I've spoken about this more times than I can count and probably all of you have seen it but I wanted to bring it up because it's a great Irish themed film and it's Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale and Amy Adams in The Fighter which is a true story of boxer Mickey Ward from Boston and his brother Dickie who was a boxer but he's plagued with so many problems that he's kind of taken a step back and he is now training his brother but there's a lot of conflicts a lot of problems people don't want uh, Dickie anywhere around because he's always causing an issue and it's about the family dynamics and they are wild. It is a wild Irish Boston family and it's just great. I love this movie. It's one of the greatest sports movies out there and if you haven't seen The Fighter, what are you doing? Put it on your list. Make sure you watch it. It's a good one. And this next one, of course, I had to have this on. You have to have a good Boston crime movie and what better than Martin Scorsese's The Departed starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. And I just love this movie. Again, one I could watch time and time again. I never get tired of it. So if you're looking for a good crime movie, definitely check out The Departed. And I don't want to say much about it because this is one of those movies that it's not what it seems. And if you haven't seen it, there's some really good twists and turns that happen that will surprise you. But it's really, really good. It's one of my favorites from Martin Scorsese. I think it's fantastic. So The Departed. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about is a really nice imprint set that I have, but you can get these movies individually. I'm sure they have, a, I'm pretty sure most of them have Blu-ray releases here in the States. And these are movies, it's called Directed by Jim Sheridan, Four Irish Films. And this is the box set. And then on the back we have a quote from Jim Sheridan. And the four films that are included are My Left Foot, The Field, In the Name of the Father, and The Boxer. I think The Field is the only one that I have not seen. And uh, My Left Foot stars Daniel Day-Lewis, and it is the true story of Christy Brown, who was uh, born with cerebral palsy, and the only thing he could use was his left foot, and he was actually an artist. And he learned how to do art with his left foot. And this is this is a fantastic movie. If you've not seen My Left Foot, I know there's a Blu-ray release in the States. Definitely check it out. Even if you stream it, do whatever. Definitely put My Left Foot on your, uh, on your list of films to watch. Uh, the Field. I have not seen this one. It stars Richard Harris and John Hurt. But I think maybe I'll watch this today. It says, uh, the plot of Earth in rural Ireland is rented and lovingly cultivated by Bull McCabe. When it's legally, when its legal owner suddenly decides to sell the land, a wealthy American appears with plans to develop the area. So obviously it's about uh, who's going to get this land and how it's going to unfold. But I am looking forward to watching the field because it gets very high marks. And I really do enjoy everything that I've seen by Jim Sheridan. So this is, I think, the only one... This is the only one I haven't seen. And then we have this one. Uh, it's another one with Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, I love Daniel Day-Lewis. You can't go wrong with him. This one, and Emma Thompson. This one is called In the Name of the Father. And basically what it is, is uh, Daniel Day-Lewis plays a character who is accused of an IRA bombing. And uh, he reluctantly is kind of, for, he's kind of, forced to sign a confession even though he claims his innocence he's forced to sign a confession and then by default they also loop his father into it and he sets out to prove his father's innocence and uh yeah it says after angering the ira a petty thief is sent to england by his father where his antics land him in the wrong place at the wrong time uh innocent but forced to confess to a savage terrorist bombing he is sentenced to he is sentenced as one of the Guilford Four. So, uh, yeah, this is a really good one. I haven't seen it in some time, but this I maybe I'll watch these two. Maybe I'll do a double header. But I remember this one being really good and very moving, but really, really good stuff. And like I said, anything with Daniel Day-Lewis, I'm there. And this is a great one, too. Daniel Day-Lewis and Emily Watson in The Boxer. And what happens is they are a couple and Daniel Day-Lewis goes away. He, he's sent to jail for a crime for 14 years. And while he's away, uh, Emily Watson's character finds new love and she is then married when he comes out. 
and when he's released from prison he's trying to get his life together and he gets involved in doing some boxing but he's still in love with her and he wants to pursue her but she is married and uh we just follow them on their journey and watch it and see what happens but it's a really really good movie like i said anything by jim sheridan is going to be fantastic you won't be disappointed so you know what i'm doing i'm re-watching in the name of the father and i'm going to watch for the first time the field so i'm looking forward to both and uh those are my irish themed films for saint patrick's day just a quick one today and um i have some more uh, videos planned for you during the week. So I hope you enjoyed what I did today. If you did, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for watching. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you who take time to click on these videos and just give me a few minutes of your time. And if you enjoyed this video or videos like it, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So you know when I upload, I do everything from film recommendations, uh, collection updates, uh, room tours, uh, halls, you name it, we do it here. Anything to do with physical media is what we do. So that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to go and, um, I don't know, drink something green, eat something green and watch some Irish movies. But I hope whatever you do, you enjoy the day and, uh, just be safe and be happy. And I will catch you in the next one. So for now, that's a wrap.